Like said so eloquently by me and Meredith. Hi and welcome back to this new video on my channel. I went to Scotland to visit my friend Meredith, my little red riding hood, and honestly I mostly just went book shopping on this trip both in Glasgow and Edinburgh. It had been a while since I'd been in Scotland but I absolutely love it here. The vibes are so witchy and autumnal and all the historic places are so beautiful to visit. So of course I'm taking you with me both book shopping and discovering these wonderful cities. On my first day in Glasgow, Meredith had a day off from work, so she took me around and toured me through her city. And first we went to this beautiful bakery called Kember and Jones, and it was so cute. And the food was honestly so good, like one of the best waffles I've ever eaten in my life. And just this whole spot was adorable, the whole decoration, and they had so many beautiful pies, and it was just all really lovely. It was a very rainy day, typical Scotland weather. We walked around and Meredith showed me some of her favorite spots. And of course, then we went to see the uni that Meredith attended in Glasgow, which was so stunning, honestly. It just felt like this dark academia dream, walking around there and pretending I was at a magic school or something of the sort. <laughs> After we saw the art gallery, which was absolutely mesmerizing, we went to do some book shopping. Meredith took me to several bookshops. All of them were so beautiful and very authentic and cozy and a bit messy, some of them as well. And it was so lovely to do some secondhand book shopping. I always love thrifting for books. This bookstore was so nice. It also had a cat, like a bookstore cat, which lived there, which is my favorite thing. I didn't pet the cat because she looked kind of grumpy and like she would slap me, so... But yeah, it was very cute. We just wandered around, checked out several bookstores, also went to a cute tea house, which you will see in a bit. It was so cozy and very witchy. And there was also a tea leaf reader at the tea house, which was so cool. Meredith got her fortune told, but I was too scared, so I didn't. <laughs> so we sat down and drank some tea and relaxed for a bit and did some chatting. After Meredith got her future told to her, we decided to do more book shopping, so... <laughs> That's just all we want to do. We want to do book shopping and walk around and be dramatic.
Then another day of the trip, I took a train to Edinburgh on my own. Such a solo traveller, oh my god. Not really, because I was very nervous things would go wrong. But it all went smoothly and I arrived in Edinburgh. It was fringe, so it was quite busy and I hadn't thought of that beforehand. But there were lots of performances and the vibe in the city was really good. And I basically, again, just did lots of book shopping. When I arrived, I first got a little coffee and read my book. This is The Secret History by Donna Tartt. I'm reading reading it right now. So I read for a bit to calm my anxiety because going out on your own is scary. And then I went to do book shopping. I first went to the Lighthouse Bookshop, which is a queer and feminist bookshop. So they had lots of books that you don't normally find in bookstores. They also had like just regular fiction and other stuff as well. But it was definitely a really nice bookshop to have a browse in, very colorful, super nice. And then after that, I went to Topping and Company Booksellers, which is honestly such a cool bookstore. Like I hadn't anticipated how great this would be, but it was basically just gigantic. So many rooms like dedicated to different genres. So big, ladders everywhere, absolutely stunning. And yeah, a very classical, beautiful bookstore and so many genres, so many books. And yes, I bought too many books and I was very nervous about how I was gonna take them home, but I did manage in the end, which is wonderful. And then after a long, long, tiresome day of walking around and doing book shopping, I took the train back to Glasgow to have some dinner with Meredith and friends. And after that, my trip already came to an end. I had a great time in Scotland. I loved both Glasgow and Edinburgh so much. And I highly recommend both cities if you're ever planning to visit the UK. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed my book shopping vlog. I might still do a little haul of the things I bought. If you don't know what to comment, don't forget to leave a nice autumnal emoji and I'll see all of you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!